What's up, guys? As I said in the community tab, we're going to be reading some comments from you guys, questions, uh, just whatever you guys write. In the last video I put up, the Mia Martini video, I'm just going to read some comments, answer some questions if there is any, answer some haters. Maybe there's some haters. There's always haters. Haters are everywhere. We might just chill. We might just talk and shoot the shit for a while. Um, I hope you guys are doing good. It's off. getting a little toasty down here, if you know what I mean. But yeah, man, we're going to just chill. I hope you guys are doing good. I said that already. Anyway, I'm off from work tonight. Thank God I get to chill. I get to do my stuff, do my fun stuff. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my daughter this weekend, but, you know, that's okay. She's in school anyway. So let's uh let's read some of these comments. See what we got. All right, let's let's put me up a little bigger so you can see my ugly mug while I read. I'm getting a little better at this uh zoom thing. Hopefully the audio audio is a little better than it was before. All right, so. Let's go. Come on. Lola S says Mia is a legend. You know what? I'll highlight it so you guys know which one I'm reading. Mia is a legend of Italian music. She, she sang with her heart. This is a song everyone can actually relate, relate to. Thank you for the reacting to this masterpiece. Yes, she is. She is absolutely amazing. Her voice, everything, you know, the passion she puts in it. So good. Another reason I'm doing this is because I cannot respond to every comment. So I think in this video, it's easier for me to respond just by saying it. Andrea Brusen says, the story of Mia Martini is heartbreaking. She had a great talent, but her, her career was basically ruined by people saying she was bringing back bad luck or bringing bad luck. She suffered a lot throughout her life to the point that she died alone in pain. That's horrible. People don't realize, hold on. People don't realize what they say sticks with you. That shit hurts. That shit, you know, little things like just as, as saying you're, you look skinny sticks with you. I'm not saying someone insulted her looks, but I'm just saying how things, you know, they're hard to forget. And it's something you might not even think is hurtful. Like, oh, yeah, you look skinny today. And they might take that home with them and think about it all day, all week, all month, all year. That shit's true, man. And, uh, you know, I don't know much about her. If I seen her performances, I would think she's a happy woman. But obviously she had some demons she was dealing with. Uh, Liz learned Italian with songs says, of course, me, uh, of course, Mia Martini gives a very moving and emotional interpretation of this tune, and I'm sure you will get comments about other versions of it. The name Elisa will come up for sure, but I think the greatness of this tune lies in her very, very elegant and particular harmonic progression and how it goes well with a beautiful melody. So kudos to the composer of this song, Marizio Fabrizio. It's it was beautiful, man. Just her tone. The thing I like about her the most is her passion. You know how hard she goes. How she doesn't phone in any lines. Every vocal line she says is one hundred percent effort and passion and pain, and you feel it. RDM says, oh, wow, I love that you're listening to this song. Mia Martini had such a tragic life and the world lost her beautiful soul way too soon. The way she interprets her sound is amazing and gives me the goosebumps every time I listen to her. I agree. I almost got goosebumps listening to her. Like, she's just amazing. Amazing. Mia Martini. <coughs> Excuse me. Mia Martini. Cantava, see, I can't read that. I can't read that because I don't know Italian. But I appreciate you, Il Toscano. 
I'm going to skip some of the ones that are in Italian. Forgive me. I wish I could read Italian, but I suck. Um, here we go. Great singer. Another beautiful song of Mia Martini is Mernuto, a real experience for ears and for music. Yeah, I definitely want to hear more of her songs. Curious to see different ranges. You know, the, the sadder her songs are, the more I'm going to love them. I'm not, I'm, I don't know if I'm that interested in hearing like hyper rocky songs from her. I like her dramatic, sad songs. That's my favorite shit, man. That, that, and you know, those deep songs are just, I love them. Patricia says, This I believe to be one of the best songs ever written, and her performance is levin, legendary. It just doesn't get better than this. I agree. Top tier, top notch, amazing. I always cry when I hear her sing. She bears her soul and gifts her audience being one person or thousands. This woman, we didn't deserve her, and she knew it. May she forgive us. No one like her before, no one like her after. Well, what? It, I'm curious, what did people do to her? Why was she so, it seems like people attacked her or something. Like she was in pain. Did she have depression? Were people hounding her? Did she get a lot of hate? Something. Maybe we'll look it up after we, we're done reading some of these. Claudia, I always cry when I hear her sing. Did I just read that? Yes, I did. Angelo, my martini was a victim of rumor. All right, here we go. He's going to tell me. My, my martini was a victim of rumor. It was said that she brought bad luck because during a tour of her, there were accidents at, to the concert. Nobody called her. She lost her record deal, and she decided that she would stop singing. Then a Napoleon singer-songwriter, Enzo we're not going to say that last name, went to hear her at the village party and wanted her to sing one of her songs. Slowly he resumed, the song is her biggest hit at that period. Keep in mind that from 1971 to 1981, it was a great success. Unfortunately, she had big problems. She died of an overdose. Well, they found her alone for three days. She lived far from south of her in an anomalous country in Northern Italy, ignored by everyone. She was always alone. That's fucking horrible, man. An immense, an immense loss. Mia, she was the only one who could handle the confrontation with Mina. And keep in mind that her voice in this video destroyed... Wait, I want to read this part slow. And keep in mind that the voice in this video is destroyed by interventions on the vocal cords. She at first had a beautiful, high, pristine voice. Oh, so you're saying the drugs affected her voice. Wow. That's sad, man. I read that she overdosed before, but... You know, the way you wrote it made me really think about it. It's, she's so lovely. I wonder what, you know, substance abuse is not a joke. And people get addicted and people lose themselves. And they don't even necessarily want to keep doing drugs. They just, it hurts to quit. It hurts to stop physically and mentally too. You know, some people don't want to feel themselves they want to be numb to the world they want to be numb to themselves to their own feelings so they do stuff like that they do drugs and then there's other people who want to quit that can't because it literally physically hurts they withdraw and it's agonizing and it's torture and that is man i wish she could have got help also she was probably bad on demons you know depression God knows what goes on in someone's head, you know. Just a couple of years ago, I was depressed, didn't want to get out of bed. I was truly unhappy. I didn't want to go to work. A lot of shit happened with me and in a relationship I was in where it was very toxic. And it hurt. And it hurt. And I never thought I was going to get over it. And, you know, I could have easily turned to alcohol and you know numbed my soul 
and there were there were times that I had plans to get drunk and kill myself and uh, just say fuck it all because I was like, you know what, death cannot be worse than this. But I waited time, you know, I suffered through, and I made it. You know, at the end of every tunnel, there's a light. Hopefully. You know, for most people, that taunt, that light takes forever to get to, and they just give up. Man, that's horrible. Grand Hotel Seagull says, oh, God, wonderful Mia. She's so talented. She had such a great voice. She passed away too soon. I also suggest you to her sister. She has a sister, Lorindana Berti. I didn't know she had a sister. That would be kind of neat to see. I'll check it out, man. Greedy Plastics. I still remember the first time I heard this song. It was too late for us children to stay up and watch the whole San Remo festival on TV, so I brought a small radio to bed with me. I didn't know her, but the song clicked right away. The beautiful melody and the sad lyrics and that desperate voice. It was February or March 1989. 1989, a couple of years after I was born. Later that year, during the summer, we kept playing the festivals, festivals competition compilation on cassette, and it became the soundtrack of our holidays, which were married by our grandma passing away that August. That was the first time in my life that I had to face the death of a loved, beloved family member. Well, this song still gives me goosebumps, and it brings back the big storm of emotions that hit in the face in the summer of 1989. Wow. That's beautiful. And I get what you're saying about losing your grandmother. Because uh, I have a similar story. My grandma died when I was 20, maybe 19, something like that. And, uh, you know, her favorite, one of her favorite bands was Green Day. And I got her into them. You know, I would play music all day from morning till night, just nonstop playing music. And Green Day was one of them bands she liked. Uh, she was a hip grandma. You know, she liked that they they had that fun sound. They were goofy. You know, you, you, knew, you guys know Green Day. They had the catchy songs. She liked that. And every time I hear a certain album, it reminds me of her. And I know she's probably looking down saying, I love that song. And, uh, you know, the, the album 21st Century Breakdown, is that the name of the album? Hold on. I think it is the name of the album, but I could be wrong. I got to make sure. We got to get these things right. Plus, we're just hanging out. This is the album that really makes me think of her. Yeah, 21st Century Breakdown. But I can relate to you, brother. And also, that was the first, you know, real death I've experienced in my life. Uh, Mirko says, R.I.P. Mia Martini, a sad story for a great woman and a great voice. Absolutely. Love her voice. Inst when I heard her first song, I loved it instantly. Giuseppe says, what a masterpiece. I suggest to you, California from Jeannie, Gianni Nanini. I never get to say her name. I did react to one of her, a couple of her songs. Another beautiful female Italian voice. This original long version is the best, in my opinion. She almost never performed this one live. I will have to check that out. Frank says, hi, bro. Mia, she was an artist, often misunderstood, and too delicate and fragile for that cynical world. And she loved also listen to Pino Daniela with Quando. Fragile for that cynical world she loved. Yeah, man, she's, you can see that she had a passion for things. She loved things. She didn't just half-ass shit. She wasn't one of them careless people that just, you know, winged it. You know, everything was a deep love and i just i only listen to two songs and i get that sense especially by the way you guys talk about her i get it i get it i see the passion uh vincenzo my middle name mia martini is a true legend pure talent i've listened to her so many times yet she makes me cry every time as the first time 
she's beautiful i want to listen to some of her uh recorded songs on apple or spotify i would be curious to hear how she sounds on the record because if she sounds that good live imagine on the record truly amazing paulina paolini i'm sorry i'm skipping one anna i'm skipping another one kadash says finally one of the masterpieces absolutely anna masterpiece with a powerful voice full of emotions i miss so much Mia Martini, she's unforgettable. She's beautiful. Another great Italian voice, Alice Masaggio. She's sort of female alter ego of Franco Battiato. That's pretty, pretty unique and awesome. I cannot read your name. I'll read your last name, Luglio. Great reaction. I just love your reactions because you always tell, you, tell us what you think about the songs, giving us your opinions. Too many people who react to songs do not do that, which, which is a shame. Keep on in the great journey through Italian music. What do they do? I watched a couple reactions. What do they do? Guys, let me know. What do other reactors do when they listen to a song? I try to put it in my perspective. Like, I try to relate to it. I feel like that's the problem. People don't try to relate to the songs. Or they're scared to open up and tell, like, you know, about themselves. And they only... uh you know, it'll say, oh, I like that melody, blah, 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 and that's it. All right. Cassie's Diary. React to her sister. Ah, we, uh, she does have a sister. A couple of people have been saying that. One of the most popular modern Italian rock singers, Loredana Berte. Costa T. Aspetti. Da me. Her is a very last success. These sisters are so talented. Lardina also is the most beautiful cover of the very soon of this very soon. She ah man, she dedicates it to Mia Martini as she passed. That's big shoes to fill. I don't know if anyone can do it better than her, but I will have to check that out. That is big shoes to fill. Uh, Victor Fries, what's up, brother? My, I love this dude. He's a constant supporter, has my back. When people talk shit in the comments, he picks up for me. Thank you, Victor. You're my guy. Let's see what you got to say. My question for you, my dear Angelo, is after thousands of suggestions in the comments section of all these reactions of yours, have you ever clicked a link to a song out of sheer curiosity? Of course I have. Yeah, definitely. A lot of times, even taking the risk that it's being a song suggested via buy me a coffee, probably not, but still. Yes, I do. Not all the time because there is a lot. There's a shitload, but I do. And nine times out of 10, it's songs that no one requested most of the time because there's so many songs in the world. You got to think. No matter what you guys suggest it's going to be a probability that it's something that no one requested. And if it is, it's, it's different when I'm reacting than when I'm just listening as, you know, on my own, when I'm reacting, I'm really like really trying to really hear every little thing. And when I'm casually listening, I'm just listening. Like, yeah, this is cool. Da, 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 da. Like I'm not, I'm not, getting in that real deep headset trying to relate to it and trying to pick every part about it out and you know what i'm saying uh more questions thank you for the questions i like these questions chill questions how are you victor i'm good work has been busy chaotic i do a really like high intense labor job you know it's it's fairly simple, but it seems like a lot of people suck at it because we go through a lot of employees and, uh, you know, it's easy on your mind, but it's hard on your body. You know, I've aged, I've aged. My daughter is great. She's all excited for Christmas. She wrote her Christmas list down and it's a lot of shit. She ain't getting everything on that list, but, uh, you know, it's fun to read their Christmas list because I remember I used to love making a Christmas list. And uh, have you listened to Zukira's version of the song from Spirit, the animated movie? Spirit. I don't know if I've seen that movie. Let me see. 
I don't think I've seen that, brother. Spirit movie. Ah, with the horse? Nah, I don't think she's seen that. Me neither. I didn't believe we have seen that. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'll check it out. I did not hear that song. But I do love me some Zukiro. Love his voice. Love his style. Love his rasp. Jacopo says, damn, Angela, another absolute masterpiece here. I'm really happy that someone from another country is going deep into Italian music. But sorry, I insist. You have to listen to Lucio Battisti's Una Giornata Ogasa. Anyway, I love your videos. You transmit your passion and your admiration for the astonishment that is only the first that only the first listen can give. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Um, I will listen to that. I, I don't know if I'll react to it. Um, I'm sure someone's bound to request it. I know a lot of you guys ask me for me to do songs in the comments, but I just cannot get to them all. It's not even humanly possible. I can hardly get to the coffee requests. But if you if it's a song you really want me to do, you got to request it in the buy me a coffee because it's the only way I'll be able to get to it. You know, it, it sort of makes a list for me. Without that, the list is never ending. You get what I'm saying? And uh, what's your other question? Oh, um, you're right. The first listen is always the best. And the reason I like reacting, and I don't want to be a reactor that just stand, just watches a channel and listens to a song. And I'm like, thank you guys. That's it. Have a good day. I try to give you my opinion. I try to talk about it. I try to relate to it. I try to put myself in it. I try to feel it. And uh, another thing is you don't get to ever experience a song again, new again, when you've heard it a million times. And that's why I, like, I think people like reaction videos because they get to experience it for the first time again through someone else's ears, new again. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think the appeal of the reaction is. But thank you for your comment. Um, all right, Walter says, this song is absolute classic. Here's proof. In 2003, Elisa did a cover version of it, included in a soundtrack of Gabrielle Muccino's Remember Me. I'm not going to read that because I'm going to mess it up. Record that TD me. And I read it anyway. I also strongly recommend the movie in the event you want to do further, further practice your Italian or simply wanted to expand your cinematic horizons. I will definitely be down to check out a movie. I'm a movie nerd. I have, if you don't know, I collect shitloads of DVDs. I have over a hundred, over 500 DVDs and Blu-rays. And yeah, man, I appreciate the suggestion. I love movies. I also love cover songs. A lot of people are against cover songs, but not me. All right, we got a comment from The Running Man. What's up, The Running Man? Charles, how you doing? All right, and here are my questions for your Come Chill video tomorrow. You've reacted to several songs, music videos from FT Island, and so far you've enjoyed them all. Yes, I have. I think the last one might have been my first, my favorite one because I like the story. Kind of made me sad, but I like being sad. I like being dark. Since you've also said that you love the lead singer's voice, can you say his name for once? <laughs> Charles gets mad at me because I never say his name because I have a horrible memory and I'm old, but I will say his name for you. Lee Hong Ji. The G in G is pronounced like G in Go. So Lee Hung Ji. Lee Hung Ji is an amazing singer. And can you please suggest to your Italian subscribers to also be more open-minded and check out the reactions for the FT Island videos, I added that part, that you have done and will continue to do. They are missing out on a fantastic and diverse band. Thanks, Angelo, and keep rocking. He said thanks, Angelo, but I said Angelo. Guys, 
There's a band I react to on this channel. I'm going to look in the camera. Their name is FT Island. They write very meaningful songs, very beautiful songs, songs that everybody can relate to. You guys can relate to. They don't get that many views for some reason. The next time I upload an FT Island reaction, will you please check it out? Not only for me, because I appreciate it. If you love me, then you'll do that for me because, you know, we're all family here. And Charles will also be happy about that. So please also go check out the past ones we did. They're a good band. They got a song for every kind of fan, you know, hard. They go hard. They write some pretty stuff and they do some good shit. And I think you guys might be missing out. And just think a lot of bands you love, you won't even knew about if you didn't check them out. It all starts with the first step. All right. Now, some of these comments you might thank you, Charles, for that. Anyway, some of these comments you might notice I'm not reading it's because they're in, in Italian and I can't read Italian. And I don't want to sound like a jackass, but I will say thank you, guys. I'll say your names. Italo Kashrahi, thank you. Anna Maria Spano, thank you. Victor Fries says, oh, my God, Mia Martini, Elmino Tool. No lo universal, finally. Yes, Mia. Beautiful voice. We're not going to read every comment. We'll just skim through some of these. Man, she always gives me goosebumps and make me cry. So authentic. Yes, she does. She was one of the greatest. This song is amazing. Florence says, Mia, what a wonderful and unforgettable Mia. Too sad her story. So unfair. Yeah, it's weird. Like it's like some people have a horrible and other people have a great. And it's it's like, why? Why? All right, we're just skimming some of these. Thank you. The song is always so moving. Mia Martini, Unuko, Immersa RIP, Immensa, Mia Martini. What a crazy, unique, unique interpretation. I saw many comments where they rec recommended to listen to the cover tribute of Elisa. Well, I highly, highly recommend the li it live here. Thank you for entertaining me in this strange period of my life. Amazing challenge. What's the matter, Jeffrey? You need to talk, bro. You need to talk. All right, guys, we're going to just stop there. I don't want to read too many. I don't want to read all of them, because that's a lot. But I hope you guys liked it. Let's go look up some pictures of Mia Martini so we can see the beauty. You know, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. Mia Martini. This whole video is dedicated to Mia Martini. And it wasn't planned that way, but now that we're going down this rabbit hole, we might as well keep going. Curious to see her in her younger years and, you know, throughout her life. If this will load, that would be great. Images, come on. If you like this, we'll do these every week. Why is this not loading? We will do these every week. Let me move me out of the way. Now that last video, I moved me, but then when I saved it, I wasn't moved. I was in the same spot. We're not going to do the, the Wikipedia thing this time, but we will do it another time. I like this picture. Very beautiful. Can we expand?
That's a beautiful picture. She has style. I could hear her voice by just seeing a picture of her. Mm, look. I would play some videos of her, but I don't want this video to get blocked. That's a beautiful picture. Who's this? Is, is that her? Sorry, guys, about that. I have shit on my beard. Not literal shit, but uh, yeah, my internet went out, kicked me off. But it was fun looking at pictures, talking about Mia Martini, an amazing talent, a sad tragedy, horrible that she passed away. You know, she's a beautiful soul. I barely know anything about her. I know two songs. If you'd like me to do a video where I read some of her Wikipedia facts and or facts about her life, Please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this hangout video. If you want more of these, let me know. Um, suggest an artist you want me to cover. You know, we'll read comments on a video of, like, let's say I react to Zucchero. I'll read all my comments from the Zucchero video. Not all of them, but some of them. A lot of them. Anyway, thank you for chilling with me, hanging out. I love you guys. Take it easy. Have a good day. Remember, you're not alone. You got me, you got family, you got friends. If you don't have any of those, if you don't have friends, you don't have family, you don't have any of that shit, you got me. Thank you, guys. I love you. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, everything else. Have a good day.